In Let It Out news. Let It Out. Submitted by Taco Bell or Del Taco? Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. I like both. Taco Bell. Have you ever had their chicken soft tacos? It's pretty good. Taco Bell keeps you guessing, man. You don't know what they're doing next. Da -da -da -da. All of a sudden you go there and it's like, hey, try the new nacho loaded griller. And you're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> they, keep, they, always, they always keep next level things. Right. Del Taco all the way. Yeah. It's like, try a new taco burrito. And you're like, what the fuck is a taco burrito? Like the, the new nacho burrito burrito deluxe. Have you tried the nacho fries? Those are yeah, they're fucking incredible. The nacho fries? Nacho. Have oh. you tried the nacho fries? You said John Charles. What the fuck is that? Del Taco? No. No, from Taco Bell. Where have you been? It was like huge. <laughs> it was everywhere. Yo. I was getting jacked in the gym. Oh, that's sick. Good there for you. is nothing <laughs> that can replace no. a fucking, uh, what's it called? A chalupa. I fucking love chalupas. Chalupas are great. Yep. Fucking gordita like that's deep taco. fried. By the way, cheesy gordita crunch at Taco Bell? Mm. Forget it. Mm. I'd rather eat that than whatever Gordon Ramsay makes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, I get yeah. the supreme oh. taco with the ranch. We're fucking trash. Oh, with the okay. ranch shell. That's just the best. I love chalupas. It's like a Mexican croissant and a pita bread form. Fucking bullshit. Because you know, like, I've been eating. Who do we got to jump? Someone's been talking no. shit? A lot. <laughs> she got to jump my gut, my intestines. Oh, okay. Because, like, I've been eating a lot healthier, right? And yeah. I was like, okay, cool. I can have, like, a cheat. I can eat some shit. I fucking eat, like, any, like, McDonald's or fast food. I get constipated like that. Constipated? I get constipated and, and, and a stomach pains. When I eat That's because oh. you're not getting veggies. You have to get your veggies from the Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. Yo, I don't care how bad it is for me. When I want it, I want it. So like, you should just lick the hamburger when and I was, throw it away. When I was, I got a filet fish. I ate that shit. I had mad stomach aches, but I could give a fuck. Like, I mean, it shows that there's something wrong in the food. I've never gotten a stomach ache at all from McDonald's. Yeah. So if I if I eat like ramen noodles or I don't know, like some kind of like white bread or some shit, it fucks up my gut now. I don't know what it's what it's doing, but You're, I just, it's not ready for it. Yeah. I got I'm I got sorry, an idea for you. I'm sorry they asked. Here's here's <laughs> the they asked. Talk about Del Taco. I'm sorry they asked. Here's, all right, moving on. Moving on. Here's, here's here's what you do. All right. This We're is not. The don't program. ever look. Like, right. I tried. I had your back. Shh. I didn't get to talk. That's why. So I'm gonna talk. <laughs> So, you're gonna get, you're gonna, this is the new diet program, all right? You get your smoothie, right? You yeah. get your hamburger. You fucking bite into your hamburger, you chew, you spit that out, and then you drink your smoothie while you have the taste <laughs> okay. in your mouth. I have a better that, one. That's gonna be the best. You have the, you have the food that you shouldn't be eating, that you should eat, you smell it, and then you take a bite of the healthy one. You smell the good food, and then you take a. But what if it has a crunch? One. What if it has a crunch? That's not the same texture. This is so expensive, you guys. Oh. Yeah, this is very expensive. Yeah, we guys are talking about. I have to buy the food that I want not to not eat. And then I have to buy the healthy food, which is way more expensive even. Yeah. And then I have to smell this oh, one. You get the taste though. You go. <laughs> That's the win. I just wake up with a fat stomach ache, put a big smile on my face. Oh, hell yeah. There you go. Anyway, there you go. what is this article about? A university has installed a cry closet for stressed out students. Of course. Cry. Let's talk about fat. A cry closet? A cry closet. Like in the classroom, like, oh my god, fucking it. I need a fucking cry closet right now. Damn. It sounds like karate oh, closet. If I... If I <laughs> If I came into my friend's room, like a homie's room, right? Yeah. He goes, yo, homie, real talk, though. That's my cry closet. I was like, cool. Well, get in there so I can jump your ass. <laughs> I give you something to cry about. What the fuck do you mean cry closet? Yeah, so the University of Utah has installed a tiny uh, cry closet. Those, Those Mormons. Mormons. Those crying-ass Mormons. It's true. It's pretty small. It's Fucking true. Salt Lake criers. I feel like I, I, that's oh. just the Mormon term for a vocal booth. So this oh. is the cry closet at the University of Utah. Oh my, oh my god. god, it's stuffed animals. There's Fucking there. stuffed animals. It's lined in black. There's stuffed oh, animals. Wait, this is a university? Yes. Wow. Motherfucking bitch. What, what, what are you going to do? Throw something. I know, it's he has throw nothing it. around him. He didn't plan oh, no. properly. Throw the shit. Throw it. Fuck! That feel good? No, I wanted to do this. You guys think I'm about violence. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think much. you're about peace. You pretty much are. I'm about love now. <laughs> Fucking Kanye taught me the way. <laughs> so that shit is so they could be like this. And. <laughs> no, he's gonna throw some panels. You're. F what the fuck? Just cry. What do you got to cry about, you university student? You fucking missed your midterm and got an F or some shit? What the fuck? Yeah, you live in know. America. You live in the top percent of the world, dude. Like, if you have a job in America or, or whatever, if you make 30 a year, you're in the top 1% oh, of the world. Oh, you know what's a really good idea? Just cry in your room. Well, what about All people right, that share me, their dorms? Let me tell you something. Cry in front of them, make them feel uncomfortable. All right? Make eye contact. Yeah, you never jacked off in front of your roommate and made them feel uncomfortable? Hey man, it's gonna happen whether you like it or not. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with crying. I wish I had a cry closet at home. Crying's, crying's awesome because it's a great release. Nothing wrong with crying, okay? But how often are you crying that you need a crying room at school 
Look, yeah, apparently, like, you know, these students are so stressed out with their exams, the high student loan rates and all this shit. People having bad days, getting dumped via text messages. All this shit, right? I was with everything until that last part. University <laughs> students are going through so much these days. So that's why this university thought that they I would... I got dumped in a text! They would help the students out by installing this cry closet, and there's also rules. Mm. So it says, I go in there to fuck. I no did. diddling. Absolutely no diddling. Oh, I'm diddling. <laughs> I'm diddling too. When you go in after me, it's gonna smell something. Oh, yeah. You can you can barely sit in this closet. Oh, you can stand and jack off. Easy. Easily. No, fuck. I'm talking about fucking. Yeah, you, you can lay and jack off too. Fuck yeah. Off. When there's there's a I recommend it. <laughs> no, when I jack off, I wake myself up and I stand up. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna try to go and use and you open the door and just the homeless man inside smiling. No, so there's <laughs> rules. Okay. So these no rules homeless so people allowed? <laughs> That's fucked up. You have to knock before Bunch. entering. That's the first rule. Okay, reasonable. Only one. Hello, just a more, few more seconds, please. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I need to cry. Just 30 more minutes. Only one person in the closet at a time. That's the second rule. The third rule. <laughs> Can you imagine two people at the same time in the closet? Ah, scoot over! Cry. Uh, it's like a phone booth, like you gotta use the phone kind of thing. Yeah. Like I gotta cry. Yeah, because they actually have a time limit. You can't spend more than 10 minutes in there. What? I will say this, man. If you're going to those spots and you need to cry, I completely support you. But just be willing to know that I have tomatoes outside waiting for you. If I had this at home, then Nikki would only be able to cry in one place. And I would like that. You should get installed at home. Because as it is, my whole fucking house is a cry. It's all yeah, salty. Right you should have a designated cry area. I like this idea, that's what I'm saying. Because I mean, there's designated nap areas. Oh yeah. So why don't they make cry areas? Does that mean the rest of the campus is a no cry zone? I know, right? It's tight. And then people are also asking, like, wait a minute, is this closet soundproof? Because if it's not, then what's the point yeah. of going? And are you allowed to smoke cigarettes inside? Probably not. Some people are like. Because I have nothing ah! against. Can you cry and smoke? I got nothing against crying. <laughs> I, I cry so during hard. movies all the time. But my thing is like, why do you need a designated spot for it? Just fucking cry it wherever the fuck you're at, dude. What's the last movie you cried at? I cry in every single movie. What's that dude? fucking um, animated movie that just came out not too long? Coco. 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 Cried in Coco. You cried in Coco? I was crying the whole movie. I cried during Moana because I was so fucking bored. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I cried in. Uh, I got teary eyed because of how beautiful Moana was in the beginning. I'm like, this is so. Oh pretty. my god. Yeah, I never cried out of joy, but. But I've cried because like I was really close to my grandma. So, you know, when that part at towards the end, oh, I don't want to spoil it for you, but oh, there's a there's yeah, a very yeah. touching part towards the end when oh. he's trying to communicate to his grandmother. That shit got me. They remind me of my grandma, yeah. and I was like, mm. I can That's hear your voice crack home. right now. I cried at play playlists yeah. after the panels were over. That's true. <laughs> I definitely cried from laughter a lot though. You know what? I don't think anyone should hold in their emotions because it's good to let them out. But there is a time and place, and the right place is a cry room. Yeah. So are they saying that these students are going through so much stress that they need a so much? I mean, I remember yeah. being a college student, student, student studying during finals. I remember, I remember being a college student, working full time, going to school full time, and shit does get stressful. Um, I mean, I mean that that's the first time you're living that part of your life, so I can see why people. You went to college and, and work full time at the same time. Yeah, dude, it was nuts. Thank you. And then, um, that's, amazing. that's crazy. That's I quit crazy. just so I could go to college. So this is the difference was, um, I didn't, I didn't live on campus. I lived at home. So, so you could cry in your bed. Home. Yeah. But what about those students that are far away from their family and their friends and like, I to me, it. that's easier because my family makes me cry. Yeah. <laughs> so the fact that I was living on campus, yeah, your family's that it made it easier for me. It was easier for me to deal with my school rather than, so when I was going to ELAC, I would go to school and I would come home and get in a big ass fight with my dad like every single day. And that was really hard on my studies. Yeah, but you're not the average. Like in perspective, like I remember when my dad like like he beat me, right? And then he was like yelling at me and I was a kid and I started crying. And then my mom came into my room, she sat next to me on my bed and she put her hand on my shoulder. She goes, Hey, don't be a only bitch. Only little bitches cry like that. And then she gets up out of my room and closes the door. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. My dad, he would come home, he'd come in the room, and I needed to cry closet because he was like, listen, son, I want you to know I'm so fucking proud of you. You're the <laughs> fucking best. <laughs> and I'm so fucking love you. And I was like, God damn, this is hard to me. Like, hey, I don't want to just cry out in the open like this. <laughs> like, it was hard. I, 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 I definitely relate to you guys. <laughs> Wait, what is that like? We have similar yeah. parents. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what is that like? How does that feel like? It's pretty great, actually. <laughs> the last time that I cried, though, it was with you guys in Florida. 
um, we were playing that VR NASCAR game or whatever, that VR racing game, <laughs> and I was bumping into Geo so fucking hard the whole game, and I was ramming into Tiff the whole game, and I was ramming into you the whole game. Well, I couldn't catch you because you were too fast. He actually played the game, loser. Dude, but I was crying laughing because the, the game makes you like jerk around. Yeah. It's like it's VR like, like this. It makes you dizzy as fuck. You're in a race car oh, yeah. seat, and then like if you get hit or whatever, you actually feel it. Oh shit. It feels, and it feels like it doesn't have power steering. And your brain oh. is tricked like you actually think you're in the game. It's yeah. pretty and sick. So every time I was hitting Geo, like, like like I could feel it, and I know she was all that, like, like going out fast. And you, we didn't know, we, there was no names in the cars. But as soon as I start, like, as soon as I hit Geo, and then I just kept ramming into Geo, like, constantly, she was like, fuck it, Steve! <laughs> it was fuck you, Steve. Yeah, because you, you knew it was me. Hey, Steve. Yeah, yeah immediately. Like that. That's fun. The last time I cried from laughter was when this fool misinterpreted somebody's veins as a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh yeah, I cry from laughter I, during a trip. Or the teacup one I, at the oh Disneyland. Oh god, dude. Oh, oh, that was the homie. Oh, dude, that shit had it me. Was What's the teacup? What happened? So it was a couple, a guy and his girlfriend, but they thought that it was like two dudes in the teacup, the you know, the the spinning teacup from I, Disneyland. Was like, he's like, oh look, he's with his homie. Because her arm was huge, like a man's arm. It was like fucking buff. So I was like, oh, that's cool. Like he's comfortable enough. To be like, you know, two middle aged dudes in a teacup ride. <laughs> two ladies. That's what I thought. And it was two girls? No, no, it was like him and his girlfriend. Oh, I see. But she was like the same size as Yeah, him. I thought it was him and his homie. And then yeah. right when they said it was a lady, like the image changed. Yeah. And I could not stop laughing. That's great. Yeah, that happens here. <laughs>